Okay, so I'm going to continue differentiating um, some ENFP and versus ENFJ stuff um, that you can observe quite often and relate those things to the cognitive functions behind those uh, phenomena and with respect to Jennifer Lawrence. So um, one of the things that makes uh, Jennifer Lawrence America's sweetheart, you know, everybody loves her. Um, Part of her shtick, part of her, th I mean, her thing, you know, I, I think it's quite natural, but the thing that really stands out about her, um, one of the things is that she is so spontaneous and so natural. Um, and goofy, she's goofy. Um, and she does a lot, as I, the way I see it, if, please check the reel out below and, and watch it, watch the whole thing and see what you think at the end. But uh, it seems to me that she's doing a heck of a lot of making it up on the fly in terms of what she says. Um, many, many times she ends up, um, you know, in a very, f having said something funny that makes her, her interviewer laugh or that makes her, both of them laugh because she realizes she's, with that self-consciousness, she realizes after it's out of her mouth how weird it sounds or how odd it is or how difficult it's going to be to explain. And that is something that, not just the improvisational quality, but another thing in that that's very characteristic of ENFP is we do what I call, um, we do it all the time, we do what I call self-absurdizing. <laughs> There's probably a, a real word for that that I just don't know, but um, please write it in the comments if you know what that would be. But what, what I mean by that is we make a real habit of um, and it's part of our charm, usually, you know, if, if people like us at all. Again, if you're in that camp. Um, but something that's usually r remarked upon with us is that we have this funny, this bizarre, but kind of funny, but kind of cute, but kind of weird, or uh, tendency to be really out of it in terms of social norms and, and, and obeying them. We're, we're pretty, you know, we, we, we say odd, we say and do odd things her, the point of view of very um, much more conservative people constantly and we're only half aware of it at best some of us are more aware than others some of us can keep a lid on that in you know where it's the desirable um, or necessary uh, can do that but you know when we're when we're pretty relaxed um, there is this kind of naive bumbly quality quite often and what's funny is that it can be contrasted with this sort of you know, compared to the, the uh, FJs, for example, who are just have a, a real quick studies when it comes to um, understanding and per like perceiving and understanding the nuances of and then executing their behavior in accordance with social norms, with what's desired by the group they're in at the moment. They're very adaptable that way and they have a keen sense of what's going on and what's expected. And they also have quite a natural drive to meet those expectations. Um, people with heavy FI, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, we just don't, we don't have any of the, you know, we, in terms of temperament, we don't have any of the natural leanings towards any of that stuff, which is not to say that we can't do it, that none of us can do it. Some of us can do it, um, but those of us who can have trained, like this was not going with the grain for ENFP, not usually. Um, to be formal and, and always polite and always know, you know, never say anything shocking and never say anything weird and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a huge difference between ENFP and Jennifer Lawrence does it throughout that entire reel and anything else I've ever seen of her in a talk show situation. Um, and I've seen many because I really enjoy her, you know, I think she's great. And I thought she was an interesting study to look at. Um, so she's constantly telling a story, but then telling the meta story about it, which indicates that she has a kind of outside view, a big picture view, bird's eye view of how she sounds and how her stories, how weird her stories might be or her quips might sound to other people. And then she makes fun of that. So that is not, and that is not something ENFJs do. I'm going to get into what ENFJs do really well in humor, which is different. But, I mean, this sort of bumbly thing that she does that's so cute and adorable and that everybody, you know, goes on about, that is not ENFJ typical at all. ENFJs, their self-consciousness is, um, not only are they not trying to hide it as much necessarily, but they, they will be apologetic about it if they break convention and they're not totally sure that it's going to be pleasing. Um, you know, those people feel a duty to be rather perfect. They feel, they feel, and with their, head, their dominant FE, 
they have a natural drive to to please the people that they're with and attend to their needs in every which way. They they they're pulled to do it. Now whether they do it or not is subject to all kinds of factors that are very could be very complicated, but that's the that's the temperamental leaning more of the time with those people. But that is not at all the case with the NFP. So just to give an example, and then I'll go on to the next video. At the very beginning of that compilation reel, the very first thing in there is a Dr. <laughs> Lawrence sitting on a talk show, being watched by millions of people, okay? And she's staring off into space. She's staring at something like off view. And then when she realizes, oh, 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 the, the, the interview is starting, um, she has this like, oh, like this totally goofy, like, yes, you know, and re engages with, uh, with David Letterman. Now, if an, that was, I believe that if, the, if she were an ENFJ, she would, first of all, be very unlikely to do any of these awkward things because those people are, gen the FJs are generally very smooth. You know, they may feel flustered and like, a bit, you know, I hear this all the time from them in comments, how they feel like they're a big mess and they're just totally worried about it and, and nothing could be further from the truth that they're so stylish, you know, sort of stylized and, you know, easy with the, in sociality. But I'm like, compare yourselves to the NFs, or sorry, sorry, the, um, excuse me, the NP, the FPs. Okay, compared to us, yes, you are, <laughs> you know, um, and Jennifer Lawrence is not. She is not smooth like that. Um, so I'm saying that if, I believe if she were an ENFJ and she, let's say she was having some, she was on some, med, you know, whatever, she was on some weird cold meds or something and she was robo tripping and she had to be on the late show and she found herself staring into space for a minute. Okay, so that's a lot of like ifs there. I believe the more typical ENFJ reaction would be to go, oh, excuse me. You know, like the NF, the the FJ reaction with the big, big FE would be much more likely to go, oh, excuse me. You know, or at least make a gesture to that effect of like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. And I'm going to acknowledge I shouldn't be doing that. That's not polite. Whereas Jennifer Lawrence is just like, oh, that's very much more FP. I, I really do think. All right, moving along to the next video. <laughs>